Have you ever come across a picture of something that should be looking like a human, but instead it does the opposite and makes you feel mildly uncomfortable? In this video, we will be taking a look at the eerie world of the uncanny valley. I'm back to lift this channel from the dead. My country is on lockdown because of the virus, which leaves me with plenty of time to make videos. But we can talk about it all in the end. So, what is the Uncanny Valley? If you are unfamiliar with the phrase Uncanny Valley, you still might be familiar with the concept. Have you ever noticed a human in a movie or video game that doesn't look quite right? Have you wondered, what is wrong with that face? or thought this person looks so creepy. These reactions could be caused by the uncanny valley, which is essentially our mind's way of telling us that a portrayal of a human looks almost realistic, but not quite. When there is something just off about the look of a human on the screen, the uncanny valley is the hypothesis that says humans will experience negative reactions when faced with anything that looks wrong compared to their typical image of humankind. These negative feelings are typically an uneasiness or revulsion towards the inhumane humanoid you're seeing. The uncanny valley is a principle that's been studied fairly extensively, especially in light of more recent breakthroughs in animation, and researchers and psychologists have begun to understand just what it is about inhumane humans that gives us all the creeps. First developed in 1970s by Dr. Masahiro Mori, a professor of engineering at Tokyo Institute of Technology, the Uncanny Valley hypothesis depends on the understanding that as a robot or animated human becomes more and more similar in likeness to a human, the more affinity we feel towards the robot. However, at a certain point, before a robot can be perfected to look exactly human, we stop responding positively to the similarities we see between ourselves and those robot likenesses, because we also see dissimilar features that look like mistakes and imperfections. Now, I'm sure you've heard of the movie Cats. Um, I haven't watched it, don't know if you did, but the reason why I brought it up is because it's a perfect example for the uncanny valley. So how cats invoke the uncanny valley? Well, if you were asked to estimate the proportion of cat to human in the cats, it will be difficult. This is crucial to understanding why they seem so creepy. McAndrew's 2016 paper proposed that the feeling of being creeped out is an involved adaptive emotional response to ambiguity about the presence of threat. In other words, we can't tell whether the Jason Derulo thing lurking across the screen is a cat or a human, or both. We enter a state of alertness just in case that thing is dangerous. We like clarity in the world and we want to be able to put things neatly into categories. Almost human things press buttons in our brain that tell us to interact with it as if it's human, but since we consciously know it is not, we experience tension and ambivalence which can be unpleasant. For the same reasons, clowns and masks can also evoke the same feeling. Perhaps the film cats wouldn't be as bad if maybe they made their faces more cat-like and less human-looking, but I don't know. The whole concept of this, just seeing uh, these human-looking cats jumping around is very strange and my brain does not want to accept that. So let me know what you think about it and let me know if you have ever experienced the uncanny valley. Also, now that you have made until the end of this video to why I have been absent for so long, I mean, <laughs> to be quite frankly, I just wasn't putting lots of time for my channel, that's all. And now that I have all the time in the world, I can obviously work more on this channel and pick up where I have left off. It's good to be back and I will see you in my next video.